Greetings, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. This episode, we'll be doing a professional brownstone high school. Recently received information about a possible haunting. So let's uh, jump in here and see if we can't quickly locate and identify a ghost. And I've already kind of locked up at 2%. What the heck? Well, that's unusual. Am I crashing? Um, anyway, while it's apparently locked up, I can, uh, yep, it, it's crashed. Nope, nope, it snapped out of it. Ah, yes. Oh, that was, that was good. Now, I heard from dusk that the callouts no longer affect the behavior of the ghost with the exposition update I guess they're working on something else um, <coughs> but that callout would mean that uh, the modifiers were unknown anyway uh, let's see prevent hunting with a crucifix walk through salt capture a photo Patricia Martin breakers on the upstairs on the left side. All right. So, let's start with a candle to minimize our sanity drain while we get the power on and take in the parabolic. Now, with any luck, I can actually narrow down where the ghost is with the parabolic <coughs> because there's supposed to always be supernatural noises in the ghost room. Yeah, the dynamic lighting is still a little too foggy, in my opinion. Makes it hard to see at a distance when you actually have a light source. sounds. Was that upstairs or down? It's hard for me to tell. I believe it was downstairs. Alright, this should be the breaker room. I believe that was downstairs, but I might be mistaken. And it could be right here where it opened a door for me. I'm not getting any hits on the parabolic. I just got a point four. Yeah, I'm really not sure that's your room, honestly. But we'll go with that for now. But yeah, nothing on the parabolic. But this is definitely your room. So we will go get uh, a video camera and a tripod, and I kind of wish I could just kind of hop down. Yeah, I risk breaking a leg, but you know, you can always, there's no railing, you can always hang from there, and then it's not that far of a drop, though you're dropping onto steps, which is uneven, and you're likely to stumble. Oh well. I don't think any school would get away with having a staircase like that without a railing, though. And, man, I ran out of stamina quick. Yeah, Ghost Hunter's core has gotten me spoiled with how far I can sprint in that game. Alright, so we had a salt objective, 
and I also want to bring in a tripod. So let's put a video camera on the tripod and take a tripod with us. A VR has an advantage that they can actually carry two tripods. <laughs> Still getting used to the new night vision. I miss the green. And I did find out you can see the ghost orbs in this little camera while you're carrying it. It's just because the ghost orbs are tiny, they are very difficult to spot. So you can see the uh, take the camera with you and just wander from room to room looking for ghost orbs. Um, and it would be a little bit easier with the light off. Alright, so there's not actually any ghost orbs in here, I don't think. So my camera position is mainly going to be to spot activity on the dots projector. Um, so we'll set the camera down. Put out some salt. And go get... Oh, yeah, can't go off that way. Go get some more evidence collection. A uh, book and spirit box, probably, would be a good next set. We got pretty lucky with the ghost being close to the breaker and uh, close to the entrance. I just got to go up the steps. I will still suffer some sanity drain, but not as bad as it could have been if the ghost was pretty deep in on one of the sides or upstairs. Oh, we got active. But yeah, I'm not probably not going to find any ghost orbs. This is mainly to spot it on the dots projector. Actually, yeah, let's bring in the spirit box and the dots projector. We'll bring in the book and the uh, EMF reader when I have finished everything I have to do in the dark and no longer need the lights off. such a hazy look with the dynamic lighting. And I don't believe that was a light going off. I believe that was it ceasing to render, yeah, see, as I was going up and looking at a particular angle. I walked in this hall. Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Where are you? Look behind you. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll buy that for a dollar. So, we have a spirit box confirmation. We need to check EMF readings, check the temperature, uh, and see if it'll write in a book for us. And also, hopefully, it will interact with the dots projector while somebody is looking at the camera and not interacting right now while I have no idea it's doing it. 
But I do like the new spirit box over that mechanical voice it used to have. That was nice and creepy. I'm not sure how long I should sit here and look at the dots projector right now. It's not active. Oh! Whoa! It was a child! Yeah, it just zoomed on through there. Alright, whoop, that wrong button. Uh, just zoomed on through there. So we have Spirit Box, we have Dots Projector. That limits us to Wraith, Phantom, Yoka. Uh, you die. No, that is Yokai. Yokai. Okay, Yokai would be Ghost Orb, but it's not that. There's no Ghost Orb in there. Um. fingerprints or EMF 5 so I don't really need to bring the book in I need to bring in the UV and the EMF reader and it also got explained to me how this works uh, basically it will randomly increase or decrease the EMF reading in the house by one and uh, so like a it actually starts, zero is actually one, and then it's two, three, four, and five. Um, so if you get an EMF reading of, say, two, it can appear as a one, it can appear as a zero, or it can appear as a two. If you get an EMF reading of four, it could appear as a three, a four, or a two. Um, if you get an EMF reading of 5, it can appear as a 4, a 3, or a 5. So an EMF reading of 5 is the only one that can appear as a 5. Uh, unless you get something like a poltergeist that does multiple EMF readings at once uh, when it interacts with multiple objects. That is the only time that if you see an EMF 5 in here that it does not guarantee an EMF 5 is if it interacts with multiple objects. But for the most part, if you get around a 4, um, or five, you're probably like that right there is probably an EMF two reading. It might be it interacting with the uh, uh, dots projector again. Let's see. Uh, I'll just take in this stuff and worry about bringing in the crucifix later. I do need to bring in the photo camera to take some pictures. Um. Well, no, it's not going to interact with the book, so it'd just be regular interactions. And if I find fingerprints. If I find fingerprints, I don't even need the EMF reader, honestly. Except to let me know when it interacts with something. And I have a good feeling we're going to find fingerprints. That's, that's my instinct right now, is that we're about to find fingerprints. And my instinct is wrong. Yeah, there are no fingerprints, and it interacted with the door. So we're looking for an EMF-5 at this point. Can you give us a sign? Can you give us a sign? Show yourself. Show us. I'm getting an ambient 3.5, so it's in the room. I'm not hearing any noises from it. 
that's one thing is you should be able to hear it like whispering and stuff but I'm not hearing it so I still don't hear the ambient sounds can you give us a sign oh you uh, walked in that Oh, wait, it had already walked in that. That's the one it hasn't. Okay, I take it back. I just heard the whispering. Cool! Can you do it again? No? Can you ring the phone? Can you turn off the light? Can you do something useful? More creepy whispering? All right, I'll be back. I need a crucifix or two. Uh, I'll, I'll bring in a crucifix and a photo camera. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll definitely bring in a photo camera. I just heard it turn on uh, water, so I've got a dirty water photo I can get. It hasn't uh, given me any EMF readings while I was in the building. And I didn't hear a single footstep. Uh, so that implies to me it might be a wraith. Um, now, when it walks through salt, I think you still do hear the stompy footstep sounds, even with a wraith. Yeah, I need a photo, and I need to stop it from hunting. So let's get our photo camera. And a crucifix. Go get our dirty water photo. And see if we can't get it to interact with something. So that we can get some EMF readings. And I forgot to check the van to see if we, there was any activity still listed on it that might have let me know that it was an EMF 5. reader in time. Alright, where to put my photo camera? Stay on. Alright, you've interacted with this door and light. Bathroom. All right, let's put the crucifix down. Get our EMF reader. Can you give us a sign? Show yourself. Show me. You know, I just thought of something. Maybe 
That is not actually your room. Seriously? Where's the EMF reader? Give us a sign. Show yourself. Show me. Give us a sign. Nah. All right. Let's head back out to the van. Um, I should probably put that camera somewhere where I can spot an EMF reader, or I can bring in another camera to do that. Um, yeah, I just thought it could have been interacting through the wall, and that may not have actually been its room, even though it was bringing the phone there. So there is still the possibility of ghost orbs. Uh, I do have one other room to check to be sure of that. There's no ghost orbs in this room. You know that shadow as you sweep across moving makes it look like something's running. When you turn, something was standing here watching you and runs outside the van. You know, when you first turn, it kind of looks like something moved. Oh well. So we haven't gotten a photo of the ghost yet. Uh, we haven't prevented it from hunting because I'm not in the hunt threshold. Um, and it is completely inactive right now. So what were our ghost types again? Wraith would be the EMF-5. Uh, Phantom would be Fingerprints. And the other one was Ghost Orb, which was uh, Yokai. Now Phantom... Yokai was getting annoyed with me talking near it. I still think this is going to be a wraith, so I'm going to go ahead and set that, just in case I get strangled. Oh, yeah, it's a wraith. We just got an EMF-5. So, there we have it. Uh, let me... Uh, set that. I can go in to confirm it later, but that, that pretty much means it's going to be an EMF-5. This isn't interacting with multiple things at once. Um, <clears throat> I could go in with the smudge sticks and uh, a lighter, because I am close to hunt threshold to try and trigger the uh, hunt, prevent hunting from crucifix. Still don't have a photo of it. Still don't have any photos, really. But let's just go ahead and wrap this one up with what we've got. Because we do have the ghost identified. And this will also let me know if I was in the correct room with the amount of time spent in the ghost room. Yep. Back. It was a Wraith. We got that correct. We got 150 out of that. Gained a level. Yeah, we spent two and a half minutes in the ghost room. So it had to have been the room where I was asking for a sign. I did not spend two and a half minutes in any other room upstairs. Uh, except perhaps the hallway, but it did not appear to be a hallway ghost. Never did one event for us. Alrighty. Well, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.